Find the smallest natural number n, which has the following properties. a. Its decimal representation has 6 as the last digit. b. If the last digit 6 is erased and placed in front of the remaining digits, the resulting number is 4 times as large as the original number n. As we do not know how many digits the number has, so we assume that n has k plus 1 digits, where k is a positive integer. So n can be written as uk, uk minus 1, and so on, u1, 6, where uk, uk minus 1, and so on, u1, are digits. To find n, first we need to determine the number of its digits, which is k plus 1, so we need to determine k. Then we need to find the digits uk, uk minus 1, and so on, u1. We are given that, if the last digit 6 is erased and placed in front of the remaining digits, the resulting number is 4 times as large as the original number n. That is, 6, uk, uk minus 1, and so on, u1, equals 4 times the original number n. 6, uk, uk minus 1, and so on, u1, can be written as, 6 times 10 to the power of k, plus uk, uk minus 1, and so on, u1. For example, 6135 can be written as, 6 times 10 to the power of 3, plus 135. As 6135 is a 4 digit number, so k equals 3. The original number, uk, uk minus 1, and so on, u1, 6, can be written as, 10 times uk, uk minus 1, and so on, u1, plus 6. For example, 1356 can be written as, 10 times 135, plus 6. Substitute the resulting number, and the original number in equation 1. We have, 6 times 10 to the power of k, plus uk, uk minus 1, and so on, u1, equals 4 times, 10 times uk, uk minus 1, and so on, u1, plus 6. Collect like terms and simplify the equation, we have, 6 times 10 to the power of k, equals 39 times uk, uk minus 1, and so on, u1, plus 24. Divide the equation by 3, we have, 2 times 10 to the power of k, equals 13 times uk, uk minus 1, and so on, u1, plus 8. As the right hand side of the equation is congruent to 8 modulo 13, so 2 times 10 to the power of k, is congruent to 8 modulo 13. Because the greatest common divisor of 2 and 13 is 1, so the equivalence relation can be written as, 10 to the power of k, is congruent to 4 modulo 13. From equation 2, we know that, k must be greater than 1. Because when k equals 1, the smallest number of the right hand side of equation 2, is 13 times 1, plus 8, which is 21. But the left hand side of equation 2, is 2 times 10, which is 20. So this is impossible. So k must be greater than 1. If k equals 2, 10 to the power of k is 100, which is congruent to 9 modulo 13. So k cannot equal 2. If k equals 3, 10 to the power of k is 1000, which can be written as, 100 times 10, 100 is congruent to 9 modulo 13, and 10 is congruent to 10 modulo 13. So 1000 is congruent to 9 times 10, which is 90 modulo 13. Which is congruent to 12 modulo 13. So k cannot equal 3. If k equals 4, 10 to the power of k is 10,000, which can be written as, 100 times 100, 100 is congruent to 9 modulo 13. So 10,000 is congruent to 9 times 9, which is 81 modulo 13 which is congruent to 3 modulo 13. So k cannot equal 4. If k equals 5, 10 to the power of k is 100,000, which can be written as, 10,000 times 10, 10,000 is congruent to 3 modulo 13, and 10 is congruent to 10 modulo 13. So 100,000 is congruent to 3 times 10, 
which is 30 modulo 13, which is congruent to 4 modulo 13. So K equals 5, satisfies equivalence relation 3. Substitute K equals 5, into equation 2, we have, 2 times 10 to the power of 5, equals 13 times U5, U4, and so on, U1, plus 8. So U5, U4, and so on, U1, equals 2 times 10 to the power of 5, minus 8 over 13. Which is equals to 199,992, over 13. Which is equals to, 15,384. So n equals 153,846. This is the smallest natural number satisfies the conditions.